Hello and welcome to my channel Study with Pradipto. Today in this video I will upload all the programming assignments of week 2 in the course Programming in Java. So this is the first programming assignment. And in this assignment we have to write one Java program where we have to print the area of a rectangle where the length and width uh, will be given by the user. Okay. That means uh, here you can see uh, when we uh, click the Java, then here you will find that length and width is taken. Okay. Now uh, the system dot out dot print statement is also given and area is that means we have to write only the, the logic. Okay. So int area equal to length into width. Now the user suppose give 5 and width give 10, then 5 into 10, the area will print as 10. Now we have to click save as draft and then we have to click compile and run. Now, after clicking compile and run, we will get like this compilation passed and this is the test cases that 5 into 10 the area is 50. Okay. Now we have to click the submit button. Now after clicking the submit button, you will see that private test cases used for evaluation is passed. Okay. The status is passed. So this is the first assignment. Now this is programming assignment 2 of week 2. Okay. Now this is the problem statement. We have to write a Java program to calculate the perimeter of a rectangle. Now what is the logic of perimeter? That means 2 multiplied by length plus width. Okay. Now, this is a simple coding as the previous one. Now, we have just to write the perimeter because we have to print the perimeter. So, we have to write in perimeter is equal to 2 into length plus width and where length and width is taken from the user. Now, we have to click save as draft. Then, we have to click compile and run. Now, after clicking compile and run, we will see one by one passed. Okay. Now, we have to click submit. After clicking submit, we will get that private test cases used for evaluation is passed. Okay. Coming to programming assignment 3 of week 2 of the course programming in Java. Now in this assignment we have to find the maximum number in an array. Okay. So that means you can see uh, here the input is 5 and the array is given. Okay. That means in the array there are 5 elements and the maximum elements in uh, this array is 42. So we have to print 42. Okay. Now how to write the code, how to find the largest number I will show you. Now the system.out.println statement is given and here max is printed. Now if we consider this sample test case, then here max equal to error of 0 means max equal to 15. So we will consider max value as 15. Now we will uh, write one for loop from uh, i is equal to 0 to n that means from i equal to the uh, from the first element to the last element. Now, if error of i greater than max, that means if suppose 15 greater than max, that means 15 greater than 15, that means it is not true. So, if statements will not execute. Now, if uh, the, uh, in the next iteration, that means from, for i equal to 1, error of 1 means 42. Now, 42 obviously greater than max, that means 15. So, if 42 greater than 15, then max equal to error of i, that means error of 1, that means 42. So, here max will be 42. Now in this way the loop will run and at last it will print 42. So first of all we have to click save as draft then we have to click compile and run then after clicking compile and run we will get that uh, compilation passed one by one test cases passed then we have to click submit then we will get that private test cases used for evaluation the status is passed. Now coming to programming assignments 4 of week 2. Now in this assignment we have to create a class called rectangle then we have to declare two integer member variables that is length and width and in the main method we have to create an object of the rectangle class and we have to assign values to length and width and print their sum. So all is done by NPTEL. Just we have to print their sum. That means their sum means the sum of length and width. Now how to create one class rectangle? Here you see uh, the static class rectangle. So in this way we can create a class. Now it is a it is an inner class. Why? Because already the outer class is given and we have to write the inner class and under the inner class there are two variables length and width because we have to declare two integer variables length and width. Then in the main method we have to create an object of rectangle class. Now how to create an object? Now rectangle then we give one object name that is react. Uh, we, uh, we can give any name. Uh, we can give R or we can give any name your name also. Uh, we can give now a new rectangle okay uh, so in this way we can create the object now we assign the values rect dot length is equal to length and rect dot uh, width is equal to w and before that we uh, take the l and w value from the user okay 
now just we have to print uh, the sum of the length and width so in this line we have to write that system dot out dot print ln then sum of length and width is then rect dot length plus rect dot width if we write rect dot length then we can directly get the value of the length if we write rect dot width then we can directly get the value of width then uh, we uh, get the sum if we write this then after all we have to uh, click save as draft then we have to click compile and run after clicking compile and run we can see that public test cases one by one passed then we have to click submit then after submitting we can see that private test cases used for evaluation is passed now coming to programming assignment 5 of week 2 so in this assignment we have to work with multiple classes constructors and these keywords now this is the problem statement now what you need to do we have to declare a class called circle with one member variable radius then we have to write a constructor for circle that takes radius as a parameter and assigns it using this keyword and in the main function or main method create an object of circle and print it radius so we have to do this okay we have to write one constructor circle that takes radius as a parameter now here you will see that these things is done and this is also written now here you will see that new circle r that means here uh, this is one constructor which will take r as a argument we have to write a circle constructor because here r is a is an argument and we have to write one constructor which will take radius as a parameter now we have to write this uh, you can see here that assigns it using the this keyword so we have to assign this dot radius is equal to radius okay so that means this thing we have to write uh, line number 9 10 and 11 now we have to click save as draft then we have to click compile and run then after clicking compile and run we will see that public test cases one by one passed then we have to click submit after clicking submit we will see that private test cases used for evaluation is passed so thank you for watching the video if you get some help then please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get all the notifications when i upload the video thank you for watching the video see you in the next video